Some people thought that all nasal spray are the same, but actually... Hi, I'm Dr. So Yi Liang. I'm an otorhinolaryngologist, or commonly known as ear, nose and throat specialist. Nasal spray is just a mode of delivery, delivering some medicine into your nose. So commonly, we have three groups of nasal spray. We can call it sinus rinse. The aim is to clean the nose. The second group is the decongestant. The purpose is to decongest the nose, reduce nose block, and let the mucus flow out easily. And the third group is intranasal steroid spray. This is the group that we use to treat allergic rhinitis and sinusitis. So for sinus rinse, we have two main types of sinus rinse. So the first type is a solution form, where usually it comes with powder that you have to dilute it in water. So it's either in a bottle form or in a pot form. To use the sinus rinse, you have to be at a basin with the face facing downward and one side of the face up. You have to pump the water into the upper nose and let it flow down through the lower nose or come out through the mouth. So you have to do it with your mouth open. Another type of sinus rinse is more gentle. It's in the aerosol form. Usually we use it for kids. For this type of sinus rinse, you're actually pumping aerosolized mist into the nose rather than water. It is more gentle, but it might not <gasps> be able to clear as Tara as the solution type. So when you open a new bottle of nasal spray, you have to prime it, which means you have to pump it into the air a few times until you get a nice proper mist. Imagine the nose as a triangle with a bone in the middle separating the nose into left and right. The aim of the spray is not the bone in the middle, but the two lateral wall, means the two side wall of the nose. Anchor the tip of the nozzle at the upper part of the nose. Then tilt the bottle slightly upward, just slightly. And then turn the bottle slightly to the side. Then head down and press. If you take deep breath after the spray, all the medicine will go directly into the throat and to the lung. We want the medicine to stay in the nose. So usually we use our right hand to spray the left nose and our left hand to spray the right nose. Do not point no the nozzle of the bottle at the septum. So from sideways, you can see that I'm only tilting the bottle slightly up rather than upward to the nasal bridge. Our face need to face a little bit downward when we spray. As this type of aerosol bottle, the spray will not deliver the medicine nicely if you are facing downward. So for the second group of nasal spray, which is the nasal decongestant, you should not use it for long term. We only advise you to use it for about 5 days and you have to stop as prolonged using of intranasal decongestant will lead to complications. As for intranasal steroid, which is the third group, you have to be compliant to your nasal spray. That means you have to use it every day according to the doctor's advice until your doctor asks you to stop it. If you are not sure if you are using the nasal spray correctly, or you are not sure what type of nasal spray you are using, whether you should use it for short term or long term, please consult your nearest ENT specialist. If you find this instructional video on how to use the nasal spray helpful, please kindly share with your friends. And if you haven't seen our previous video about allergic rhinitis and sinusitis, please click this link and have a look at it.